Road Trucking Fam, it's your girl Queen Trucking, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. We have been going through the most with this look. As you guys know, I was just on home time. I'm pretty sure y'all seen my home time video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You guys want to see more content like this? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Message. And let's get into this video, okay? <laughs> Shout out to Lisa Nelson and Cool and Calm Trucker. Thank you guys so much for coming in on my channel. If you guys want to shout out in my next video, like this current video and comment hashtag Royal Trucking Fam. Yesterday. I will be more excited, but this is the first day that we're back in the truck. And one of our steers tied up. Good tires, everybody. It's another weekly one. And this time, it was actually on the truck. Two hours late. Hey y'all. Okay, I know I've come to y'all in this dark, but we're literally like on the side of the freeway. Our air keeps leaking out of our trailer, so we had to pull over to the side of the freeway. We can't keep driving and the air keeps fucking leaking and it keeps making like a weird noise basically on the side of the freeway. First day back in the truck, we already on the side of the freeway for the fucking trailer. These trailers is a fool, man. I the trainer out there doing her thing, checking shit out, making sure shit's good. But we're probably still gonna have to pull over anyway. The next day. So y'all won't believe, we are still at the shippers okay we still here bruh we're here because we just picked up this load right the load was still overweighted we had to bring it back now. 10 seconds later we came to the shipper we picked up our trailer the fucking airline were broken so we had to get our trailer service for the airline then one of our steer tires went out so we had to go get our tires redid when we actually got airlines and tires fixed we had to go weigh the load and when we went to go weigh the load load was too heavy on the steer. So we had to bring it back for them to rework the load because we waited three times and it was just overweight. All right, now we're back. 10 hours later this morning and we're actually gonna finally pick up the load. We're gonna go reweigh it and then we're gonna be going to Arkansas. It's just been a lot going on, y'all. Like this this load right here, the first load that we got coming back from home time. This load right here, though, right here. So they could've kept this shit. Like yesterday I was supposed to drive, I just drove for about two hours and the rest of the day was spent getting this fucking trailer worked on, getting the truck worked on. It was a lot, okay? It was a lot. But I mean, life of a truck driver, right? <laughs> Eight hours later. But good morning, everybody. Honey, I ain't made not one video. I mean, it's been a lot going on, but I ain't been making no videos because I just been running, running. Because as y'all know, I'm about to upgrade. So we just been running. Right now, we on our way actually to Colorado. The following day. Good morning, everybody. First of all, I have not came to y'all in like a whole bunch of days. Like, I'm gonna just go ahead and be honest. I ain't came to y'all in like four or five days. Y'all don't even know what's going on. I didn't even explain the story. I'm gonna go get our truck we weighed three times and then the end of it all, we ended up going back to the shipper and the shipper had to rework the load. Just in case anybody wanna know, when you go scale a ticket, you doing your steers, your drives, and then trailer. Your steers, your drive, and your trailer, it can only be 12, 34, 34 max. So if you ever get a load and the load is over, over 12,000, 34,000, 34,000, then you need to take the load to go get your way, try to get your numbers under 34,000, 34,000, 12,000. If you can't get your number, you need to Go slide your tandems. Now, if you slide your tandems all the way forward or all the way back and the weight is still off, then you need to take it back to the shipper, have a shipper rework the load. We pretty much ended up going to go get our load reworked. We didn't even end up leaving Fort Worth because we were in Fort Worth. So we didn't even end up leaving Fort Worth or just Texas period until the next day. We're gonna get ready to leave. We had to drive the truck to a TA. So the airlines was out. The ABS light kept coming on because they kept on uh, starting and stopping the auto brake system trailer after we got the trailer service we were like okay cool we finally got the fucking load and we got the fuck up out of texas had to deliver a load to arkansas then after arkansas we went to tennessee 
and now I'm from Tennessee back to Denver, Colorado. No, it's just been a lot going on. This was my last week of training. So I definitely was going in this week. That's why I haven't really been recording a lot because I really want to focus. Your girl's an upgrade. Next week, your girl is going to be upgrading. This is exactly why you guys did not get a Saturday night live. I try to do my Saturday night lives every Saturday. Since your girl is in the last week of training, your girl trying to focus, and I, I just really didn't have a lot of time, y'all, because y'all know I be with the fuckery, but I ain't have a lot of time. But it's gonna be different when your girl with the fuckery and her own shit. Um, I haven't been uploading on the promise schedule that I told you guys, only because this training really trying to focus, and some days I can't really edit enough to get the videos out to you guys. I do apologize for this. So for some reason, my videos instead of dropping on Thursday, they've been dropping on Friday. I just don't know why. Y'all already know what it is. When I first started this whole vlogging process about my training, I told you guys I can record when I can vlog when I can so this is on a when I can base when I get out of training and when I'm in my own truck it's going to be a whole nother story but right now I am in the truck with my trainer I do have to adhere to her rules and regulations I don't know if you guys want me to re-explain my training process but my training process is completely different from the normal at this point in my training my trainer isn't doing anything and I'm doing everything I'm doing the trip planning um you know sending in documents I'm doing all the driving I'm telling her know when we're going to stop so as of right now I'm pretty much running this truck how it's my own truck you will have somebody that's next to you which is you know her seat right there you will have somebody next to you that's pretty much supervising uh, giving you little advice here and there just to see you know if you're capable of running your own well i do know how i want to run my own truck but i'm going to explain that when i get my own truck Look, i am going to take like little tid tidbit things that my trainer does that i really really like really like some of the organization things that she does have going on but i'm taking a little piece from all my trainers and i'm pretty much incorporate those into my own personal truck there's a lot of things that she's teaching me that i'm going to take with me and there's some things that are going to stay in this truck some things are going to stay in this truck some things ain't going to go with me but you know for the good part i really like my trainer like, everybody gets a little irritated sometimes sometimes you do irritate me but that shit comes with the job of living with somebody that you don't know you got to get used to them some things they do irritate you because she definitely irritates me but for the most part she's really really cool basically like have you know how when you drive a car and you got that one passenger seat driver that's a passenger seat driver you damn near want to tell him what shit you think you know how to run this truck i'm gonna need you to hop in the fucking passenger seat and drive this bitch that's kind of how it is because sometimes i be driving and i just be like well look if you want to hop over here in the fucking seat you can hop over in the seat but that's just her job because like i said this training is different she doesn't we don't team this truck i do all the work and she literally is the passenger seat driver you want to kick out the truck she's just doing her job she does her job to a t <laughs> let me tell you that um definitely does her job to the t but your girl is kind of seated tottering on the lease operator and you know company like i said i am gonna go company first and then i might dip my toe in a lease purchase type situation so i'm gonna definitely keep you guys updated about that on my journey but i know for a fact that i'm going to run company for at least six months with this company for the most part that's pretty much what's been going on y'all i just been doing a lot of training i've been doing a lot of focusing uh learning everything that i can i don't know what trick i'm getting yet and then when i do find out i'm definitely going to tell you guys and i really enjoyed my home time uh i really had a lot of fun being around my family okay i'm sorry i ain't been coming to y'all with the vlogs i'm sorry i ain't been coming to y'all how i was supposed to but your girl been out here running non stop oh your girl finna get ready to upgrade like let me tell you your girl ready to get her own truck like y'all already know your girl go drop a truck tour video and your girl go drop a fully furnished truck tour of course you know i'm gonna drop my first so solo load video so y'all stay ready for these videos these videos gonna keep coming at y'all and coming at y'all and coming at y'all and coming at and i'm at a pilot in kansas and we're gonna be on our way to colorado sometimes i just sit back and think like damn i did all that hooping and hollering about prom but then as soon as i left prom everything just starts to fall into place i'm gonna get off this camera i'm gonna go and pile in and pick me up like some fruit and shit to eat this morning thank you guys so much for watching this channel if you guys want to see more content like this don't forget to like comment subscribe to your girl and bye Look at that. That's a fucking mountain right there, bitches. <laughs> this is D driving down the road.